Hi, right, good evening folks. I'm going to do a video for you tonight on how to put a set of maps on an SD card on a Garmin Zumo as either a spare set of maps or an additional set of maps whichever map set you want to put on there I'm going to show you how to put them onto an SD card I use them as a, as a backup set of maps so I'll leave them in my tank bag in a little micro SD card and should I ever need them I can just plug them straight into the sat nav and away I go again um, if the sat nav corrupted for any reason it lost all the maps within the unit or as I say for, for as an additional set of maps if you've if you've bought some American maps and you don't want them on the sat nav all the time um, you can have them on an SD card and just plug them in as and when you need them so this tutorial if you like is for the newer Zumos so you're looking at the 220, the 350, the 390, the 590 and the 665's the older style Zumos, the 550's and the 660's I'll do in a different video, I put a video up last night that I've I've took back down again actually um, because the information wasn't 100% correct it was correct in the way that it was done um, but it only worked for certain models so this tutorial is for the newer style Zumos the first thing you're going to need to do is if you've not already is download Garmin Express and you need a blank SD card formatted SD card to FAT32 you 8 gig preferably, 16 gig even better. Um, the more space you've got on there, the better. The better it'll be basically. Um, you can put more stuff on there, more maps, music, whatever else you want on it. But 8 gig at the least. Next thing you need to do is plug your Zumo into the computer and make sure it's got the latest software updates on it. It'll tell you if you're up to date or not on the software in Garmin Express and also while you're in there for your peace of mind I would do a full backup on your Garmin if anything went wrong and you did anything wrong at least you've got that backup that you can resort back to the the thing that we're doing tonight shouldn't alter your Garmin anyway because you're basically putting everything onto an SD card what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that SD card think it's the Garmin Zumo so when you put the SD card into the computer Garmin Express is going to recognize that SD card as the Zumo for a temporary period of time i.e. just enough time to install the maps and then we're going to revert it back to just an SD card with a set of maps on it so the first things first on the new Zumos the device operates in MTP mode most of the time, Media Transport Protocol mode. We need to change that to Mass Storage mode just for um, accessing some extra files within Zumo. And the way that you do that is you're going to turn your Zumo on to start with. Once it's turned on, you're going to access the Volume button. I shall do it with you here, it's probably easier. Let me just turn my Garmin on and then I can show you. So we're going to turn it on till we get the main screen. Once we've got the main screen, we're going to go to volume. Once we're in volume, we're going to press and hold the top right hand corner of the screen for roughly 5-6 seconds until you get the diagnostics page up. Then you're going to go into configuration and settings, MTP settings and make sure it's ticked on mass storage. Usually it'll be on the top one. You make sure it's in mass storage and press save then you're going to want to put the SD card that you've got the blank SD card put it into the computer either via the SD slot on the front of the computer or via one of the little USB dongle things with the um, SD slots on the side of it it's got to be a micro SD card remember because it's got to go into the Zumo after so plug that in and also while you're at it plug your Zumo in as well via the normal USB cable so on your my computer when you load it up or the, this PC um, whichever you've got you should have um, your blank SD card showing on there and also the Zumo should be showing on there my Zumo's just been plugged in so it'll be showing in a minute there it is right let me get rid of that maps one because that's not, a, that's not necessary for the minute that's it 
Right, so what you've got, you've got your blank SD card and you've got your Garmin Zumo. What you're going to want to do to start with is to go into your Garmin Zumo and you should find a setting called, a folder called Garmin. Go into that and then you should find a folder called, a file sorry, called GarminDevice.xml. You want to right click and you want to go down to copy and left click. You want to go back a step and another step and then you find your blank SD card you want to go into your SD card and you want to right click and you want to go down to new across folder and you want it will bring a new folder up then you want to name that folder Garmin with a capital G once you've named it go into it by double clicking it'll be empty and you want to right click and you want to go down to paste and you want to left click that will drop that Garmin device.xml in there. If you've done it right, what you should have at this point is you go into your blank SD card, you go into your Garmin file, and you've got one file in there. If that's right, and that's what you've got, what you need to do now is you need to disconnect your Garmin Zumo from the computer. Leave the SD card in the computer, but disconnect the Zumo you don't need it at this point so disconnect the Zumo I'll do that as well and what you should be left with is just your blank SD card this will be labeled whatever I've just labeled it blank SD so you can see where it is on my computer um, but basically um, I've just you can label it whatever you want once you've got this far you need to be loading Garmin Express up if it's not loaded up automatically you need to load it so I'll load it up and what you'll find is even though your Zumo is not in Garmin Express has found the SD card that Garmin device.xml file that you transferred over is basically the brains of the Zumo um, and because you've copied it over and pasted it Garmin Express still thinks there's a Zumo attached to your computer which is now the SD card you want to go into it find the map that you want so in this case the map that we're going to transfer onto it is the 2016.3 it's the brand new maps as of January 2016 and we're going to want to install accept your terms and conditions and then click continue now I'm not going to do this because I've already done this so I'm going to uh, skip this point but click continue and it will basically tell you roughly how long it's going to take it will be faster than doing a normal map update because it's not having to run through a, through a USB cable into your Zumo, it's directly into the computer your SD card is so it'll run a lot quicker. So anyway let that do that um, and when you've done it what you should be left with is go back into your PC into your my computer or into this PC depending on which um, version of Windows you're using and I've relabeled this should really be labeled blank SD still which is what I'll relabel that blank SD so it don't confuse you um, it's just so it didn't confuse me so this is now your blank SD if you go into it you should now have two folders in there one's your Garmin folder that you did earlier on that's still got just that Garmin device in it and the other one should be a dot system folder that's got a load of gumph in it now this gumph as I call it are your maps and your terrain and everything else in there if you've got that plug your Zumo back into your computer via the USB cable and I'll do that again so it's in and what you'll see is you'll have your blank SD and your Zumo will pop up there very shortly with a bit of luck it says ah, there we are right so you've got your blank SD which has now got your maps on it and you've also got Garmin Zumo which is good what you want to do is you want to go into your SD card you want to right click and you want to make another new folder 
and you want to call this folder map with a capital M. Make sure they've got capital starting letters on them um, or else it won't work. Once you've got your map you want to go into dot system and you should have either three or four files at the bottom. You'll definitely have three um, gmap prom files, a gmap prom.unl, a gmap prom.img and a gmap prom.gma. Them three files are your maps. Some people will have a gmap dem file.img. That one is for people only who have got 3D terrain on their sat nav, so mainly the 590 Zumo people. Um, you'll have that file. If you've got that, what you want to do is select all four. If you've not got that, select just the three GMAP PROM files. So I'm going to select all four because I've got the 590. If you've not, um, and you've not got the 3D terrain on, or basically if this, if this um, set, if this file isn't in here, then you've not got it. If it is in there, you want it to copy. You want to be copying it. So you want to right click, and you want to cut not copy so cut them go back a stage and they want to be dropped into your map so double click on your map and then right click and then paste and then you will drop them four files or three files if you've only got three into the map so now when you go back into the dot system folder they've gone next thing you want to do is if you've got junction view on the sat nav on your sat nav if it comes up a mile from the junction and it shows you a picture of the junction you'll have a jcv folder here if you've not don't worry about it this you can skip this little bit but if you have this needs this needs to be right clicked on it needs to be cut go back a step and this needs to go into your Garmin folder so double click on Garmin right click and paste and that'll end up there so now what you should have is your three files you go into system and you should have three um, folders or files left the, the, basically the remnants what you need to do with these is you need to overwrite the files that are in your actual Garmin Zumo with these files and the way that you do it is you right click them individually and you cut them and then you paste them into the Garmin Zumo files so you you make a note of what which one you're doing so we're doing going to do SID SID so you're going to right click and you're going to cut you're then going to find the Garmin Zumo so go into Garmin the Garmin Zumo go into the dot system file find SID and then you're going to right click on it and paste once you've done that that will copy and overwrite the SID file that's in your Garmin Zumo at present and it will copy the new SID file in I've already done it so I don't need to do it again but you click paste then you go back to your SD card back into your system SID will have now have disappeared whoever he is okay and then you do the same again with SQ Lite and dot Express and they're both located in the Garmin Zumo under the dot system folder so we're going to right click SQ Lite we're going to cut we're going to find the Zumo we're going to find the dot system folder we're going to find SQ Lite and we're just going to hover over it, right click on it and then paste it and then that will overwrite that file and again same again for the dot express which again is just underneath here once you've done that and you've done all three once you've gone into the my system file let me just get rid of these because you'll have already done this once you've gone into the dot system folder it should be empty there shouldn't be anything left in that now so you can go back a stage and you can actually delete the dot system file folder go down to delete and delete it so what you're left with on the SD card now is a Garmin folder and a map folder the Garmin folder should have JVC if you've got junction view if you've not it'll only have the Garmin device in there in your map you 
should have either three or four, but you should definitely have three GMAP PROM files in there. They're your three map files. If you've got that, then basically what you've done is you have transferred everything you need to transfer onto that SD card. You can now take the SD card out, you can unplug your Zumo, and you can put that SD card into your Zumo, and then you'll know if it's worked or not because you'll go into your settings in the Zumo itself, and you'll go to Maps, and you'll see click on Installed Maps, and on there you should see the map set that you have just put on the SD card, which is the ones that you've downloaded from Garmin Express. If you can see them in there, there's just one last thing that you need to do and you need to take your SD card back out of the Zumo and plug it back into the computer. Once you've found it, once it's back in the computer, go back into it, so you've got your two files again, your two folders again, go into Garmin and just get rid of the Garmin device.xml file. Just right click it and delete it and get rid. So then you'll either end up with nothing in here or just the JCV in here. And again in the map you should just have either three or four and that's it, that's done. You can now right click it from my computer, go down to rename and you can rename that Europe map or um, American map or whatever that map set is that's on that SD card. And what you'll see is it is actually quite a large file. Um, that's this 2.72 gig free out of 7.4 on that map, so it's quite a decent sized map. That, um, and that's it. That's done. Uh, you can now plug that SD card in whenever you need to, and it will run that map set onto the Zoom. As soon as you unplug it, the Zoom will resort to the map set that is in the Zumo's internal storage. If that internal storage map set is corrupt, so you're going to want to run the SD card map in there all the time till you get home. Well, basically, this is a get you out of the shit SD card if you're out and about. So I hope that helps. As I say, you can stop and start this video, I'm sure, um, but just make sure that um, you've done everything that you've seen me do on here and you'll be fine and that will do and I will do another video shortly on the older sat navs the 550s and the 660s because they are slightly less complicated to do than these new ones um, just as an end point when you've done turn your Zumo back on press your volume button press and hold the right hand top of the screen until you get your diagnostics page up again and then find that MTP settings and then turn it back to MTP auto mode because there's no need for you to be accessing any of the configuration settings from here on in unless you're going to put another map on so just turn it back to the standard setting that was in the Zumo before we started and that's it okay have a good evening and I shall speak to you soon. Cheers.